Do you wave your terrible towel when Renegade plays like we do? Knock drinks over when JJ shouts, He scores! after a flyer lights the lamp. Paint PSU on your chest for game days. Turn up the sound when the lights go out and the rubber goes down on F1. Join us for the Steel Flyers video cast coming to enlighten you on the Steelers, Flyers, and everything in between. The greatest combination of sports fandom since pineapple was put on pizza. Sit back as we welcome your host, Steel Flyers. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to the Flyers and the uh, Canadians post game wrap up and all kinds of other fun stuff. We got two of the best here with us tonight. We got the Pearls of Wisdom. How you doing, Perlo? I'm doing swell, buddy. Feeling pretty Man, right now. I'm telling you, right? We also got the Professor Joe is joining us. How you doing, Joe? Doing very well. Doing very well. First time since 2012, so doing really well. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can't be quite as pumped as a great Jamie Pascal, but man, that guy's got a corner on that market. But hey, oh, wow. Flyers win three to two, and we're gonna get into some good stuff here, man. I got some great questions for these guys, man, and we're gonna start off right away, okay? And this this is the the question for the professor. We'll start off with the professor. So Carter Hart MVP of the of the of, of the series. Yeah, yeah, I would say so because we had more games that were defensive than offensive. And even this game after we put the puck in the net, we played more. And I saw a lot of tweets about this while following during the commercial breaks in the third, more yeah. uh, similar to how we played in the other games we won to just trying to keep them to the outside, allow them to have shots, but not very ample shots. Not clean ones. So, yeah, exactly. So. Uh, I would say Carter Hart was the MVP of this series. The only other guy you would probably put up there because he continues to amaze his pro overall. Okay, I would have I would have gone with Raffle, but uh, what do you think, Perlo? Give me some wisdom on that one. What do you think, uh, MVP? I, I, I got to concur with the pro there. Uh, yeah, I, I, Carter Hart. He gets uh, he does, he it's he plays he sort of like Patrick Waugh. His style you kind of forget. He's so he's quiet. Quite, yeah, such a quiet style. He stops pucks, makes it look easy. It's like, yeah, Carter Hart had a great game. Yeah, like it's not it doesn't really pop up in your head that he had a great game. It's not like Dominic Hasek doing cartwheels and stopping. <laughs> Slinky for a spine. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even Roger <laughs> flash it. Even Wall would flash his glove every once in a while. Yeah. Carter Hart's not even like that. It's almost like he, he just, just kind of – he, he he kind of just goes and grabs the puck. Just, yeah. I'll, I'll get that. All right. Just, yeah. just, just keep that right here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's and it's not even cocky. He's so human. He's, I just I love love love. love. Yeah. And we've talked I about agree. this lots. How much we've loved him and how much I yeah. love. Yeah. Uh, and boy, I tell you what. I think he's, he's got to be there. Yeah. It would. It would, it would it, I mean, if Montreal would have won in price for sure, but I think Carter Hart. Now, if I were to take a second. Um, I still love the way Hayes played the whole thing, and it's sort of the same way. Ooh, I, think, point. I think Hayes played exceptionally well. Uh, his style was most important for that series. He took he played uh, against their top line, played it extremely well. Uh, I like I, I like I love his game, and I thought he played uh, for what his role is. I thought he played it as well as you possibly could. In there. Yeah. Yeah, we were actually kind of hoping he would get a fight tonight, thinking so we could get a Gordy. Right, you know, because yeah. he had My buddy Thompson would have a fight tonight because he was a Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> so I had some guys that he could uh, make fun of in ways that might make them want to fight him. Yeah. That way on the other team because he probably still knows some stories. <laughs> All right, and probably knows some of the guys there too, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And he did get some chin music. Um, he did get a high stick there to the beard. Um, so that was one of the penalties we had. Okay. So speaking of penalties, that's that's the next thing I want to get into. Pirlo, we were – I'm going to use this word, anemic, on the power play. Okay. Uh, look, give me your uh, – Give me your uh, first period analysis on on the power play for us. How did we get – just give me your high level. What do you think about the power play for the series and moving forward? I think, and I mentioned this last time, 
that it would be it's kind of hard to institute it now but i think it would be smart to start using drop passes in the neutral zone and getting some speed coming up in the neutral zone they're just uh and the thing is is they they did have a successful power play in the regular season but it's the same one and the teams now have had months to watch their power play right so Excellent I'm point. a little concerned that they're still doing the same thing and they don't have a plan B. Uh, that's what I'm uh, a little concerned about, especially going up against an Islanders team that has uh, a coach that analyzes every aspect of a team. You know, we've seen it, how well he d- how it did with the Islanders and how much he dismantled that Washington Capitals, or they dismantled that Washington Capitals team. So... Um, I don't know how you do it on the fly now, but maybe something like that. I I, I think you keep on throwing uh, Gosh to Spear out there and, and hoping that he can find confidence. Give him the puck a lot. Let him Great. give it. Give him encouragement. Say, take, the puck, Gosh, take the puck. Great point. Take the puck. Take the puck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what he I did make say. a couple big defensive uh, plays today. Actually, though, um, Ghost. I would say this was probably his better game. Thank you. On the defensive side. Uh, and uh, he even said himself after the game, um, it's definitely cool when you get back to the bench and the boys are barking and saying, great job. It's pretty awesome, especially for something where you didn't have to touch the puck. So you can tell he's starting to get that new mindset now. Like, oh, this is cool. He's I actually him. get a lot of encouragement after I make a great play on defense too, not just fire a 98 mile per hour slap shot at the goal. Uh, so I think that's really good to hear, especially for if we have more injuries or if uh, Braun or somebody, you want to move somebody from the third pairing out to add more offense or play extra defenseman. Cause sometimes you play an extra defenseman in the postseason If your power play stinks and that extra defenseman is, somebody that's good <laughs> offensively. Uh, yeah, like so, our power play stinks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I wouldn't be shocked if AV goes, well, since Ghost is great on the power play, but I might want to put Braun out there still for his defense if he's having a good game. We're just going to play an extra defense for that. If someone stinks, then they're just not going to play that game, which is exactly what happened with – um I can't remember what team did it, but somebody did it earlier this playoff. They played an extra defenseman, the one guy – oh, um – Columbus and New Navarro didn't do well the first two shifts and then he barely played the whole rest of the game or I don't think he even did play. So Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what. It's we it seems like we are losing the battles to the puck. It seems like we're being outnumbered to the puck, even though we are on the power play. It it, it we're we need to skate the puck in so we can get set up. Because we didn't, we don't have the speed to dump the puck in because we're not winning the battles to the puck, and then very, very quickly uh, they get the puck uh, transitioned up to that first pass and zoom just like that. They're they're back in our zone, okay. And and I saw a lot of that throughout this entire series, um, not just on when we were on the power play, but just when we were on five on five, and so. <clears throat> I think we need to do a little tweaking as far as exactly what Perlo said. I think we need to do something with this power play because we need to do some adjustments on the fly. And if we don't change up, if we don't do something, then exactly what's happening right now is going to continue to happen. And I think that if you put G on, on, on his, in his office and you put, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't even realize that JVR was playing tonight until I heard he was on the power play and, and they, they called his name like two or three times. I didn't even know he was playing tonight. That's kind of the issue with him. Right. So that's what he's there for. Farabee, I think, is a younger version of that, a much better version of that. But I don't. I really would much rather him be taking the shots because he's much better at taking the shots. Um, so I do think that we need to get the power play going, and I think we need to do it in a, in a very soon manner because if we don't – look, the I noticed one thing for sure as well too. In the third period, the whistles kind of went away. So the amount of power plays 
dissipated. And the further along you go in, in the playoffs, the whistles tend to get swallowed. So the amount of power plays you have and, the, and those opportunities are going to be fewer and far between, and they will be deciding factors in games just like they were in this series. So yep. that, that's kind of, yeah. Well, also uh, one of our favorite all-time flyers, uh, had a comment on this series, uh, and that is Eric Lindros. Uh, just saw a tweet from him, World, re- and I don't think he meant good in terms of overall play. He said, just real good first series. Montreal is a better team than people give credit. Suzuki is the real deal. We had more depth looking forward to the next series. So I think he meant it was fun to watch probably by real good series. That's what I kind of took from that more so. I hope so. I think he meant that was really good played. Um, but I think uh, everything's been spot on. But I think a big thing I saw Bill Metzler tweet like about, I don't know, like 50, like an hour ago or so was the Canadians were one of the best possession teams in hockey all season and one of the best shooting teams in hockey. All season. Not in terms of getting high percentage chances whatsoever, just in terms of shooting the puck. They were one of the better shooting teams. They weren't the best at generating high percentage chances. So he described it as they were a bit shallowing turning chances into gold. That's probably a good way to put it because they were a team that generated possession and chances all year. They just never scored a lot. Uh, and that, a similar so. system to AV where they all kind of go at the same time. They're all skating up at the blue line at the same time and they're all sagging back to protect their goalie to do this. You know, it's almost like the same kind of system that we're playing. So it was like we kind of went up against the same kind of system with guys that they had as their young guys and guys that they had that were coming in and coming up. You know what I mean? So I think this was a much more evenly matched system than people were giving credit for as well. And I agree with you 100%, man. The, the Montreal played a great series, and they definitely played it to the T. You know what I mean? So – I agree with you on that one, a hundred percent. My concern is into the next series now. Uh, again, <laughs> not only with the power play. For one thing, Islanders don't take penalties. Uh, second, they're the one of the best, if not, I think they were top four, five on five teams in the NHL or something like that. So, okay, our power play is not working, but as far as five on five is concerned. Um, if you play, if we play five on five against the Islanders like we did against Montreal, we're not going to beat them. Uh, they're, they're, Philadelphia has to be aggressive in the offensive zone. Oh to, gosh, great it's point. As simple man. as that. Whether you're up yeah. a goal, down a goal, or whatever the case may be, Doesn't that team's built on being to the metal and staying aggressive. And like you said about uh, falling back on their heels. And doing that, if you do that against New York Islanders, they will tear you apart. Their passing is fantastic. They're one of the best passers through the neutral zone teams you're going to find. Um, their the structure is amazing. If you sit back on your on your heels against them, they will ruin you. And what you saw it in you Washington skate around you over and over again. They have to stay aggressive against them. Better to lose aggressive. Because you're, you're you'll have more. To, at least then you can say you did what you needed to do to win and you lost. But if they play like they did against Montreal, they'll have to look back at the series and say we didn't play our game and we lost. And that's yeah. that's a lot harder yeah. to carry into the next season than you know. So just be who you are, right? And I yeah. I haven't seen. That's what I want to say. I haven't seen our Flyers be who they are against Montreal for a full game yet. Yeah. And that yeah. really ticked me Granted, off. Granted, they weren't really that all year, though. Montreal was an opponent we never played like ourselves all season. It was close. We won in overtime when we weren't really or right. hot and fire and flyers yet. Those yeah. two games, then we stunk when we were on a roll in January right. where we allowed all those shots and lost 4-1. to one. Where the Isles are teams that we beat by one, but they've been a lot more competitive, um, bigger, amped up games, I guess might be a way to put it. When we beat them, it's not like those games against Montreal where it's like we kind of got it to overtime where you're like, 
Oh, thank God we got to overtime against Montreal. Yeah, and then we ended, yeah, and then we yeah, ended up. Thank God we got a point. <laughs> yeah, and then we ended up winning <laughs> both of the times. So yeah. I like, kind of said this on Twitter. I'm hoping, and I think it's just a matchup thing. Like AV was kind of getting at in some press conference sometimes. Uh, he never really said this, but it seems like from a lot of the stuff he was saying, ugly is good. Like basically, like sometimes ugly is good, and I think I don't think anyone gives a crap when you haven't won a series since 2012. I mean, you can win a series any way you want. You could win a series by allowing 70 shots each game, and as long as Carter Hart saved all of them and pulled a Darcy Kemper, I'm pretty sure most people would still be like, hey, it's first time since 2012. I'm pretty happy, act. But uh, yeah. the, the, and then tomorrow they'll realize, yeah, we need to uh, defend better and all, and all that stuff. I think we're the only people that think about that the night of. <laughs> oh, of course. They're yeah, just you know. they're just happy you won the series, and it, it was a tough game, a tough series against Montreal. And hats off to them for playing as, as well as they did. Before we started, we talked about how Claude Julian is one fantastic coach. I love him. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah. And he showed every angle of it in that series as a coach. Price played amazing. But those two kids, Kokini Emi and uh, Suzuki, I mean, watch out. Watch out. Uh, I really almost had Kokini Emi possibly. I didn't know where he was going to end up in his career when he went back down to the minors because they played him so young. And uh, I thought maybe that can that can be very harmful to the progression of a player. But no. It didn't affect him now, huh? He looks like he's going to be a stud. And so yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think Suzuki even he he even went down a little bit and came back up too throughout the year. You know what I mean? Was was up and down? I think a little bit in the lineup too, wasn't he? Well, in the lineup, maybe not really. Like you no, know, I the mean like he maybe, was, like he was down in the minors and then yeah, Larry he's came. Small, yeah, so they were being careful with him, but yeah, yeah. But he never went down to the minors though. No, he didn't. Okay, I, I wasn't sure, um, was, but I knew the Cockney had Kokinami done that. Went down, it was kind of a yeah. Sport. Yeah, no, I knew that, but I wasn't sure if Suzuki had gone down or not. But right. I'll tell you what, I agree. Um, and that's the thing that I'm looking for, forward to in the next series against the Islanders is how we're going to match up against them guys because they do play a much uh, – they're, they're, there is a much tighter game. Theirs is a much more cerebral game. Theirs is a much more um, – they will it, it's almost like they have like they will pick you apart you know they'll just skate around you and pick you apart oh. and you better have active sticks you better be blocking things and you better be in the lanes because if you're not they're just going to be peppering and it's going to be a grind yeah. it is it's going to and you know what this is going to be one of them seven gamers if philadelphia can play like philadelphia should be playing we have the talent, we have the skill, we have the coaching, okay? But it's just like what you said, Perlo. They've had how many months to see what our game is. They've had how many, how much longer to look at what we're doing. So they're, they're, they've clued in. And I've been saying this since we started playing against Montreal. They are beating us to our own game. They are playing our game against us better than we are playing it. Mm-hmm. I can't say it any more than that. So here's the next thing for you guys. The uh, Islanders don't have as many big people, though. That's the other thing we have to say about yeah. the difference. Thank you. Them. That was going to be my next question. What do you guys think is going to be the key for the Islanders coming into this series because of what's going on with them? They beat Washington. They – did really, really well with the exception of what one or two games against Ovechkin where they held him off the score sheet for a very long period of time. They played very well. We know what we know what we're gonna get. What do you think the keys are for, for the Islanders to, to to do this? For us to beat the Islanders or for what no, no 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 like 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 what is okay, yeah, maybe. Joe, or, what what, or the Islanders to, or or for the Islander, or for us to beat the Islanders. For the, the Islanders, Islanders to beat us. What do you think the, okay. the key is for the Islanders to beat us? Okay. What do you think about that, Joe? What do you think the what the Islanders need to do to beat us? Using like Letty and guys that do have size, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Like they have Pollock who has size. 
Uh, right. Letty's more of an offensive guy at six foot, but I mean, if you want to get it, he's probably going to get. He's been injury bugged a little bit, so I wouldn't get tell him to be hitting too much. Uh, if you want him for your power play and all that good stuff, um, Pellick's also a bigger guy, but uh, their defense is where you have to try to attack the Islanders because they yeah. don't have a consistent defense. Scott Mayfield's not the best. Uh, he's solid. Yeah. Devin, Devin Tays, I do think, is somewhat underrated, but he's still not amazing. Uh, so, like, I, I think they have a decent defense. They just have a weaker defense in terms of they have guys that can move on their skates a bit, but they don't have guys that are the most consistent in terms of hitting and physical. That's why losing uh, someone like Boychuk probably matters yeah. more to the Islanders, yeah. even though they overpaid him grossly. Uh, yeah. Losing, losing him, though, like still. Boychuk, just someone like the Islanders matters a little bit more. Granted, adding Andy Green, who's just a sixth defenseman at this point of his career, but is a veteran, is helpful more than it would have been now because you lost Johnny Boychuk. Green's played yeah. well. Yeah, and he's played really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's been surprising. Because well, uh, he's only been like a sixth defenseman at this point of his career, which is still good because he's a great veteran leader. Uh, he's like a when he's basically like having a lefty Justin Braun. If he's playing at his best on your team, you just know he's not going to do anything stupid most of the time. So uh, yeah. that's kind of a good way to put it. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like their uh, defense uh, in terms of when it grows and they have a couple more years. I just think they're still a little bit away. Obviously, they have Dobson, who's going to be playing next year all the time. He played this year. He hasn't played at all in the postseason. Um, so... I think they're a little ways away, so you got to attack them. You got to attack them more, and like yeah. we talked about, be more aggressive, which is something we weren't as much in this series. But I think that's what it, going back to what I said before. I think we just played an ugly game to beat Montreal because we beat Montreal. When I watched all the game recaps of all the games before this series, ugly both of the times we beat them. Yeah, and, and we got to overtime and won, and then they killed us the one other time. The Islanders, we kind of beat in just pretty competitive game. So I expect also the fact that it's a kind of a rivalry. Uh, yeah. I would expect that to be higher intensity a little bit than the Flyers and Montreal, um, which became high intensity because of the last game and a half when you had a couple plays happen, okay. caused it to become higher intensity. Yeah, man, I can buy that for sure, man. Probably what do you think? What do you think the keys are for, for the Islanders to, to come out victorious here on this? Or do you think they can? Or I mean, I like your point, man. I, I really like your point, what you said about how they they they've played really well against Washington, but you know what I mean? They they might potentially be suspect defensively. But what do you think, Perla? What do you think the keys are for them to, to pull this out? I think uh well, I mean, their game is to when when you when we watch them play against Philadelphia Flyers, the first thing that when I watch the Islanders that blows me away is they know where you're going to be. They are on the puck the moment you get to the puck or before. When you were saying about how Montreal was beating us at our game or was that, were were beating us to the pucks, especially on the power play, that was because they knew where we were going to be. Exactly. If you know where somebody's going to be, you can be there faster than them because you have you get to move before they can move. And that's what the Islanders do. So if they're going to if they if they're going to beat us, they're going to keep it bottled up in the neutral zone as much as possible. And uh, they're going to get it out of their zone as fast as possible. They're very good passers. I do not know how Barry Trotz teaches his guys to tape to tape as much as he does. Every <laughs> time he's learned yeah. how to tape to tape pass better than I, I even yeah. like. I you know how much I celebrate uh, Torts, obviously, but I would say in this regard, uh, Barry or Barry Trotz is better than any coach maybe I've ever seen. He's incredible. He, they just tape to tape pass. So what we have to do is we have to do one pass, have a speed guy in every line. I think we got to change our lineups. So we have a speed guy in every line to get in there before them. And then we have to crush them when we get it. And we and what, uh, to, what Joe was point. saying is they're not a big defense. And yeah. they're not a, a, a mean defense, except yeah. for 
check, like you said, but yeah, 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 he was pretty beat up. And that's the reason why they overpaid for him because they needed that. But they're good at getting out of the zone. But if you can wear them down in a seven game series, they're going to break. Yeah. And uh, I think that's where we have the ability to beat them the most. Yeah. Um, also in our zone, when they're in our zone, we got to beat we got to beat them up there too. We're a bigger team. Yeah. We're we're a stronger team. They are more analytic team than we are. And Washington's a heavy team, man. You look at every single person almost on their in their lineup. They may not be mean, but they're heavy. Will except they're all for, over six foot. They're all over you know, one hundred ninety pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Oshi. All of those guys are big, and they wear you down over uh, when they won the cup. That's how they did it. Yep. So. When you're, if we're gonna play against the Islanders, and not only that, there's a little secret here. Varley is not actually the best goaltender ever. <laughs> Their defense see, makes. It- see now yeah. you're stealing my thunder now, man. Now you're stealing Not my the next one. That's what I was gonna say is that they need they need to really stand on their head. Their goalie needs to be playing really good, um, yeah. because I I think we're I think if we come out playing our system, um, I think that we can take it to them. You know, because I think that their goalies is a little bit suspect, and I also believe too that their their defense is a little bit suspect as well. Uh, I, I'm going to yeah. say that too. It it's it's difficult to say if this game is going to go the full seven because we think it's going to be a grind. But you know what? Here's the thing: if Philadelphia tends to catch a flame, they they might be able to take care of these guys. Even the same thing could happen with the Islanders too. That's why we play this game. That's why it's so beautiful. That's why it's so exciting. Because yeah. if the Islanders, they've got a lot of momentum. They just beat Washington, okay, uh, and they're coming into this game with with a day or two's extra of rest. You know what I mean? So it could very well be. Also, if we play our power play like we were playing it, uh, we did play our power play better in the regular season for sure, right? Yes, we did. But also, if we don't make some adjustments to change things up, they're going to know what we're going to do before we do it, and that's going to be very difficult with the island with playing against the Islanders because they'll score. They'll probably score more goals on our power play than than us. If we, if we do. Yeah, that's, yeah. But another thing with them is uh, Cutterbuck's a little banged up, who adds physicality and chippiness. Obviously, that fourth line to your yeah. lineup. Yeah, the best fourth lines. Uh, in the- where and the he best name in hockey, play, Clutterbuck. Uh, by the time we're back, because it's day to day, but if he's out for a couple games, he's that physicality. But they have a guy it, you're going to have to if they put him in, because I know Trotz put him in purposely in that final game to get to Washington. If they put in Ross Johnson, he's not the most skilled hockey player, obviously, mm-hmm. but you're going to have to match his. Uh, physicality there at 6'5", 235 coming at you. So uh, you're going to need somebody to match that uh, where, like Jamie and I were talking a bit on the phone, the Flyers haven't matched Montreal physicality. Yeah. Either. You're, you're definitely going to need to be able to to match the intensity for sure because if we don't, that's that's going to be our downfall. If well, we yeah. Can't- that intensity you know what i mean and if we're not able to take it to them and do exactly with what perlo said and be aggressive like we should be like we aggressive could have been it is uh, pedal down okay um look i used to go to this club uh for uh, the steelers fan club and there was always this guy that you could that was in the crowd and every time we would score a touchdown and every time you could hear him say more points okay I, i'm gonna say more goals we need more goals i i don't care look I'll take wins one to nothing i'll take wins three to two i don't care how ugly it is but we still need more goals and and we, and we need our top line guys to be the ones providing those goals, uh, and and that's that has been what has been the most significant thing that I can say about this whole series is where has the top guys been? Hayes is on the board, great. G's got what five assists, okay? Something like that. Yeah. Something like that, okay. What's Coots have two? Where's TK at? Does he? Where, where's, like I said, I didn't even know JVR was playing until I heard he was on the power play. Where, where is our top line guys? Where, JVR's where's our? Been invisible. 
Where are yeah. they? We, we need them guys to show up in order for us to continue on. And if those guys don't show up, we ain't continuing on. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I think it was a matchup. Uh, we don't match up the best. We're going to meet, Mo- meet beat Montreal ugly. And I think we beat usually the Islanders in a back and forth tilt more times when you go back and look at those games. Somewhat ugly at times in back and forth tilts, but it's more of a back and forth intensity game. But the reason I use uh, physical over intensity is you can play with a high intensity without being physical. physical like the, light, yeah. the Lightning did it all of last season. And then they stunk against the Blue Jackets because they beat the crap out of them. So uh, that's more why, like, you have to play with high intensity, but I think you also have to play with physicality because if Cutter bucks in and Barry Trotz goes, oh, look, Ross Johnson would be great to screw with these people, and he puts him in, then you have a couple you know of gonna happen. Yeah, that are going to kind of try to get under the skin of people. You need to be able to answer that. We didn't answer the bell that well with any of that against Montreal, but – like it is, I mean, we won the series. All we got to do is, like everyone's been saying on Twitter, and A.V. said himself, you just got to move on, learn and grow, and uh, get better going into the next series and keep the PK how it's going, but get the PK how it's going. Thank, th- thankfully, though, oh, well, there's another one. Farabee played freaking awesome. I want to say that for a kid his age. Yeah. I was saying, like, from the – I couldn't believe That's they left too. Lineup. I love – Raffle. I don't think you should take Raffle out of the lineup. He's not the guy I would have taken. I would have kept. Who, that's who I would have picked. I would have kept. I would have picked Raffle over over. That's who my second pick was for MVP, other than Carter Hart. Would have been Raffle. Raffle played really well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know who off the top of my head. Who do you take out? But I like. I wasn't fair. None of them guys. I wasn't fair. No. And, yeah. Uh, Keep them in. Yeah. So this should be an interesting series. I still think I they agree. got more, a better game to play, and Islanders are going to challenge them to in a lot of ways. Uh, yeah. It's going to be uh, uh, it's going to be a very like a, cere- a very like you I, I, like you said a cerebral game, and uh, they can frustrate you and they can do all kinds of stuff like that. And like Joe said, if uh, a good way to uh, stop uh, frustration is uh, to beat them, like beat them. <laughs> hit them. Hey, uh, hit them! Uh, look, especially that coach, defense. Hit that everything defense that moves. Is, that defense is so small. The yeah, so hit them. Wear them down. Yeah, I agree. Joe, any final thoughts on what do you think for the next series coming up? Flyers against the Islanders, man. I think, what, game one's going to be on Sunday or something stupid? I think Sunday, yeah, because tomorrow yeah. starts the uh, – Colorado uh, Dallas Colorado starts the Colorado Dallas series. Yeah, I'm looking I forward to that one too, buddy. But I believe, like I said, I think this was a matchup thing. We just won as ugly as you possibly could to get through Montreal. <laughs> That's uh, a good way and, to put it. and then after Montreal, I don't know about JVR, but I'm just talking about um, the team as a whole. I think is going to go back to playing because JVR, I haven't seen this off in a while. But the team as a whole, I think, is going to go back to playing similarly to how – I don't know about the power play either. But 5-on-5, five five, similarly to how we did in the regular season. And then hopefully yeah. the power play has a game or two in the series where we're 3-for-7 or something. But something again, like they don't give you 7, so you'd have to be like 3-for-3 three three in that type of game probably. Cause the hey, I'd take 2-for-3. New York giving you 7 power plays is ministry yeah, really. compared to uh, Montreal. Unless if we do what we said – get in their heads early and hit them and bash them, then any team's prone to give you a lot of power plays because you tick them off. Yeah. So then they're now going to try to come back at time. you. No matter who it is, you're usually prone to have more power plays then. But we have to do that, and we haven't done that yet since return to play. So, But I think we match up fine looking at the games. I have to look at all the film like I did for this series. Like We're going back and looking at some of the games. But yeah. Uh, I think looking at some of the short clips and stuff, since it seemed like it was going to be the Islanders, it seems like we match up fairly well. We only had one game that we were a little off against, and we lost 5-3. Uh, was the last game we played them. Yeah, so I believe we're fine. Uh, just got to get in front of the net more, too, this series. Yeah. Oh, boy. A yeah. little bit this- Isn't that what we got JVR for? Yeah, yeah, right? Um, uh, Perlo, but, uh, I'm, I'm going to assume that's what you're going to – Touch on as your final thoughts. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, um, that, hey, that would be, you know, if you're going to give me a final, if that's what you're going to ask now, the final thoughts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, do I think Philadelphia win? I, I'd like, I'll say the same thing I did the last series. We've got Carter Hart, na 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 na. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, have fun with that. Uh, yeah, right. I'm yeah, with you. Whether, we can make mistakes, we can do this, we can do that, but we've got what I think is going to be probably by next year the greatest goaltender in the league right now. Uh, and uh, like unequivocally, no doubt about it, besides maybe Darcy Kemper. But uh, so, and maybe after the series as well. And yes, um, that would be the guy I would have taken out. Yeah. Yeah. I, agree. I wouldn't be playing JVR. JVR is doing nothing for this team right now. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't, know if he's I, or I don't know if I would take him out over Grant, though, because Grant's Agreed. pretty oh. off. I feel like if I could tell JVR to park himself in front of the net and just do that, do that. I would yeah. rather have that than Grant, who's been struggling on both okay. Except and Grant can play center. center. If you're going to put a lot point. Point. He, he, yeah, the only thing is Otherwise, off. I would agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. If we keep yeah. B at center, though, or put Lots at center, we don't have to worry about. Um, but Grant, I could see going. Yeah. 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 Because he didn't even play center today all the time. He had him starting on the wing. That's my point of why I didn't know. Yeah, why. yeah, gotcha. But, I, I think they better. I think they're going to have to really look at that because the Islanders are deep down the middle. You got Grant going up against Pajo as mm-hmm. third line centers. Pajo is a very fast, gritty, uh, like TK type guy, but he plays center. And uh, you're going up against Grant. That's going to be an interesting matchup. However, my final thoughts are. Um, matchup is concerned. I think for the most part, our top line stronger. Uh, I think for the most part, our lineup, our defense, I like our defense better. And I love, 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 love our goaltender over theirs. So I believe in AV. I believe that he'll work out a system and change the pop, uh, change the power play up or whatever needs to be done. And I believe Philly will win in six. Okay. Wow. There you go. You heard it here first, folks. We didn't get uh, any final series. thoughts. Uh, uh, I think against the Islanders, six is probably a good safe bet. Um, yeah. Could I could is even gonna see be it going seven? But uh, I would say I would say six probably because I think the Flyers' depth um could rule out, especially if someone has, if the Islanders have injuries happen to them, um, you're not going to want to have to move your physical players up lines uh, that much because they're not going to help your scoring. And if the Flyers can figure that out on their five on five end, that will hurt the Islanders. But I believe six games is a good prediction. I'll probably go with uh, Steve on that six games. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay. Sounds good to me too. I'm going to say seven, even though I don't look, I'm going to say seven, but I really think that if we really play and take it to them and, and we play like we did again in the regular season, I think this could be a much shorter series um, than it potentially could be. But I will say seven because it could also potentially be a very long and grinding series for the, all the things that we talked about, uh, as to why I think this could be a long grinding series because of the defense, because of the goalies, because of what they have, because mm-hmm. of what we have, because of the matchups and everything else we talked about. I think that's why it could potentially go to seven or it might be shorter. So I'm, I'm going to still say seven. I'm still going to say flyers in this one too. Um, <coughs> can't argue with anything we talked about guys. I, I got to tell you, man, it's been a, an absolute divine pleasure to have the professor Joe Bork and have the pearls of wisdom joining us tonight on the on the post game show. So, Perlo, how can we get a hold of you, buddy? You can go over to Steel Flyers, www.steelflyers. You can get all my stuff there. Got my Patreon, yeah, man. all got your PayPal stuff, channel, and all that. Got everything, and forget it, and just go look at all the frolic over there. It's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. How he just set it up. It's a beautiful website. Just go, Thanks, just go, just go pet it for a while. It's fantastic. It's really nice. You can find cool. me all over there. And, yeah, man, for uh, sure. You can find me I on live on YouTube now. I'm doing lives for games. It's lots of fun. My NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Uh, look it up on the YouTube there and uh, come and come enjoy. It's fun. Yeah, man. 
enjoyed it. We enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, for sure, man. Hit the and like I, and subscribe. And, for and I love doing this. I will do this as long as you want me to, buddy. Yeah, man. You gotta you gotta like the pearls of wisdom, man. You gotta follow and like this guy, man. He's he's got the stuff going on for sure. Joe, the professor, how you doing, buddy? How can we get a hold of you? Well, same thing. You can find my YouTube and the True Philadelphia Sports Cast linked on steelflyers.com. And then you can also find me on uh, Overtime Heroics writing for them. And we're going to start some baseball podcasts. Oh, so, there you go. Um, and then also Pub Sports Radio writing for them. And, of course, Flyers Nitty Gritty, which I'll be doing a lot more articles now that I got this stupid computer to get all the software back on it after I had it set. <laughs> so, um, Tell us how you really feel about that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so that uh, now everything's back in check. So awesome. We'll be doing good here. Awesome sauce, man. So, so glad to have both of you guys on here. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, Flyers did it. Uh, we won. Uh, we took the series to them and uh, we're moving on to the Islanders. So go Flyers. We'll talk to you guys soon. Um, mm -hmm. Stay safe, stay strong and hang tough.